Hi, Booktubers. It's Allie. Welcome to the Book Splash Show. Yeah, so I was away because couldn't record much. I had an ankle injury, but now I can record today. First of all, I'm so excited for this book vlog. And, you know, there are, yeah, I like a lot of authors, but there's one author I particularly love that keeps in my heart. And that's nothing but... Queen Sarah J. Mass. Oh yeah. She had a book that released out this week. It's called Crescent City. This is her first novel in an urban fantasy with kind of like a mystery, but it's also it's a it's new adult. It's not young adult, it's her first new adult debut. <sighs> Man. I am this far so far. I'm like two I'm like almost three hundred pages in the book and it's like seven, eight hundred pages. And I've been reading this since I since I got it Tuesday. So in this video I'm gonna show you the orders of the Sarah J. Massa series. And I got them all set for ya. Alright. So let's get started. The first series we're going to go in order is the Throne of Glass series. This was her first novel debut back in like 2012. She was just becoming an author before she became the queen of all the authors. So this is more like, kind of like, what do you explain? Like Hunger Games and Game of Thrones mixed together. It's like, it's just amazing it's just wow like the first book yeah it's a push through but but in later in the book series it does get it, it gets better trust me it gets better and she grows as an author and throwing a glass man just taught me to be a badass basically <laughs> The next book in the series of the Throne of Glass series is Crown of Midnight, which is book two. This is like when the character Selena starts growing and all the other characters start growing. And I don't want to go into it deep into detail. I don't want to spoil you guys. But yeah, Crown of Midnight's the next one. This one is like a just to warn you, it's a tearjerker. It is a tearjerker. So don't be fooled. Thinking, oh, I'm going to be happy. It's blah, 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 happy ever after. No! It's a tearjerker! Then the third book in the series is Hair of Fire. This is when, I believe, her Throne of Glass series kind of like came out with a big bang. Like, when I read Hair of Fire, I just like zip through the pages like crazy like I couldn't stop reading Throne of Glass after this like Hair of Fire just made me fall in love with Sarah J Mass a lot more and oh my gosh I don't want to go into detail like I said I can't spoil it for you guys but you read like this over 500 page book oh this Throne of Glass book has a place in my heart because it, it gave me a big bane of the series. Then after Hair of Fire, I believe this release, this, this was the novella, it's like a prequel to the Throne of Glass series, it's called The Assassin's Blade. You can either read it after Hair of Fire or you can read it before Throne of Glass, they said. I read it before Throne of Glass because I got in the Throne of Glass later, but... It's kind of like how Selena's story starts before Throne of Glass, basically. So that's why reading this before Throne of Glass fit better than reading it after Hair of Fire. It just the story just made more sense. So yeah, that's the Assassin's Blade. I don't have much to say about this. It's just a prequel, you know. Well, I don't want to just say that. I say it's just a prequel. I don't want to get people offended on that. But it is a prequel of the Throne of Glass series and. You kind of get an idea after this what the series is more about when you, especially Throne of Glass, when you read this one. And then 
after that, after the Assassin's Blade came Queen of Shadows. Oh my gosh. I read this like in four days. The first time I read it. I loved it so much. I gave it an instant five stars on Goodreads. Like Sarah J. Mess. Brilliant. <laughs> I was, like, so thrilled. I, like, I immediately wanted book five, like, so bad. It's just, wow. Like, I just wanted more. And then I had to wait, like, a year for the next book to come out. And, yeah, so that's Queen of Shadows. The next book we have is the fifth book, finally, Empire Storms. This was pretty good. I I loved it. I haven't read it for a while. I haven't read Throne of Glass for a while. Last time I read Throne of Glass was after Kingdom of Ash came out, but we'll get to that in a minute. But Empire Storms was a wowzer, too. These books just got better and better. And Empire Storms was like maybe third place. First would be Queen of Shadows and second would be Hair of Fire. But other than that, that's Empire Storms. The next book in the Throne Glass series is the Kale side of the story, Tower of Dawn. Yeah, you do meet Kale in Throne of Glass, so... I'm not going to tell you how he is because that's a spoiler. So you have to read it if you haven't read it. So This is Tower Dawn. Totally differing character. Not based on Selena. Based on another character. This is like the bridge when you get to the finale of the series. Then of course the finale of the series like I said. Kingdom of Ash. Yes, I got the Barnes and Noble. No, eh, I got the Barnes and Noble exclusive edition. I just had to. <laughs> I just had to. Like, I didn't care if it was extra money. I was like, no, Barnes and Noble exclusive. Gimme. I like pre-ordered it like one month in advance, almost two months in advance. And I didn't realize how gigantic this book is. I was like, when I carried it, I was like, oh, I was not, I was a weekly. I was like, oh, oh, I can't carry this thing, like, in the bag. And I literally had to suck it up because it was hurting my arm because it, it hurts my arm every time I hold it in one arm. So, yes, yeah, this Kingdom of Ash. I'm not going to hold it for long because it's going to hurt my arm. <laughs> That's her Throne of Glass series. Now we're on to the next series, which, well, it, was, it basically was a trilogy, but we'll go into detail on that. And it's it's her Accord in Thorns and Roses trilogy, Akatar. Short or Accord in Thorns and Roses short, short is Akatar. So, this is more of a romance. This was a Beauty and the Beast retelling. It's like a romance telling. Like like Thorn of Glass, yeah, had some romance, but not compared to this one. This one you could read if you're a romance reader. This is one I would highly recommend. It's so good, but other than that, A Court in Throne of Roses was, like, the novel that helped me through so much because I was in a bad relationship way before today's time for almost four years. And these books basically helped me realize no male tie figure should control me whatsoever. And then, of course, came... A Court in Mist and Fury, book two, if I can hold it right. A Court in Mist and Fury. This was everyone's favorite. This is personally my top one favorite out of the trilogy. Because you get to... I don't want to go into detail because, like I said, I don't want to spoil you guys. You have to read if you haven't read it. Yeah, but Court in Mist and Fury. Especially start of the Court Thorn Roses. Read A Court in Mist and Fury. Next. You have to go in order. Then we have, if I can get my arm right, the third book, A Court of Wings and Ruin, which is the third and final of the trilogy, which is was the wrap-up of the trilogy, and man, this book killed me. 
I'm not going to say why. You have to figure it out yourself. So yeah, read the book. It's really good. This is probably my favorite trilogy out of Sarah J. Mass so far. I don't, I, don't, I don't know if that's going to be her only trilogy or not. We'll see, but we'll see. And then she has a novella, The Accord on Frosted Starlight, which is what I'm going to explain. Because this is the novella to fully wrap up the trilogy about what happened after A Court of Wings and Ruin, Aka War. And then A Court of Mist and Fairy, Akamath, But it mostly happens after A Court of Wings and Ruin. And then it's also the bridge towards the spinoffs. The spinoffs coming. And her f first spinoff of that tr this trilogy is coming out in sometime next year. I think it's 2020, 2021, but... There's been no release date yet, so we're still waiting on that. But I'm really excited because I love that series. Well, a trilogy series, whatever, but I love it so much. It got me into Sarah J. Mass the most, and so did Throne of Glass. And then after that, she had a DC novel come out called Catwoman Soul Stealer. I liked it. I personally liked the Corn Thorn of Roses and Throne of Glass better, but I do like this writing. It was pretty good. We kind of get to see the teen, the teenager side of Catwoman. So this was interesting. And even got it's even a signed copy. How exciting that is! Yeah, I saw it before my birthday, and I wanted to buy it so bad, but then I knew my birthday was coming up, so I had to wait. Because, you know, they say you want to wait and see what you get for your birthday. And then my birthday comes. I got it for my birthday. And it's a signed copy. One of my friends got it for me. And I was like, sweet. Signed copy. I'll take a Sarah J. Mass signed copy. Yeah, so that was a... I read that. It took me longer than normal because... It was a new world, and I was just fully gained to DC Comics by then. Because like I said, I was not in a good world when I was in my early 20s, so. I just got into DC when I was like, almost mid-20s, so. Well, I was into it before, but not as much as I am now. I, I am the big nerd in my friendship circle, so. No judging. And then, of course, after that comes Crescent City, the ha House of Earth and Blood. Man, this book is killing me so far. It's also been helping me because it also the character also deals with grief. And I've been dealing with grief because I lost one of my friends from cancer four months ago. So it's actually been helping me, but... Other than that, I'll just keep reading it until I finish and then write my review on Goodreads and I have to wait till when the next book comes out and then the spinoff series for Corn Thorn and Roses. Yeah, so that's the Sarah J. Mass. Um that's Sarah J. Mass book order. She, you know, she's the queen, so you gotta give her credit at least. Give her some credit for one of her books if you try. As long as you try, you know, I'll give you credit. But if if you want to start from the get-go, I would start with Throne of Glass. Or the Assassin's Blade, whatever you prefer. Like Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Hair of Fire, Assassin's Blade, or Assassin's Blade, Throne of Glass, and go on. But Or, or you if you want to... Or if you don't really basically give a shit you can start with a corn throne of roses i don't care i basically started with the corn throne of roses before i discovered throne of glass there's nothing wrong with that or if you don't like young adult fantasy you like urban fantasy then go with crescent city like i said no one gives a shit i don't think anyone does it's your life your money Go buy any book you like. I just did the orders. Of what book order it is. Of each series. Alright. Other than that. I'll see you in my next video. Have a happy Friday.
enjoy, enjoy your TGIF. Bye-bye. <laughs>